Hey everybody, it's your girl April from April's Love and Care. Um, I'm just coming to you all because I haven't made a video in a while. Like I said, it's been kind of hectic with the Christmas holidays, trying to get my shopping out the way. My baby's first Christmas where he is knowledgeable and he knows, you know, he can play with toys and stuff because he was only like two months last year. Um, I'm coming to you all. As you can see, the full lace wigs are not on. So, forgive my wig cap, but I'm going to show you all a wig that I had in my closet that I uh, got from the lady that sold me the, um, let me grab it for you. Hold on. That sold me this. Uh, you know, I've been complaining about her. The problem is, what I figured out with this wig is, um, it's too big for me. It's too big. I took my time and did the application and when I did it, the front came all the way down here. So this is a large cap. This is no way a medium cap. Uh, so I'm having problems with that. And about the one that I purchased on eBay, it looked fine on me. Um, let me show you what's going on with it. I washed it. I washed it. I just cool water. Don't touch that. Cool water. And just swished it around in a little um what did I use? I don't know if it was the shampoo. I used uh Pantene because that's all I had. Uh just a moisturizer shampoo and conditioner. Put a little conditioner in there and this is what happened. It is very thin. So I cannot wear this wig now. I'm not even sure what I'm going to do with it. Just take a look at it. If you can see. I hope you guys can see that. It is just bald. I'll try to put it on my head and let you see who I'm talking about. So if I put this on. You got bald spots in there. And like I was thinking. Okay if I put it on maybe I could. Pull it to the back, but it's just thin all up in here. So, it's nothing I can do with it, I don't think. So, I was going to do the application, but I did not want to put all that glue on my head. And then realize that, you know, it's just all ball. So, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this for right now. I, yesterday, I almost threw it in the garbage. But, I said, no, I'm going to hold on to it. I might be able to do something with it later that's that so the lady that sold me this wig which was sold off on me as a full lace wig which is just a lace front and lace back wig with uh, tracks in the middle so she when I went back complaining this is the wig that she gave me I hope you can see it I'm about to put it on and it's by somebody called R and B collection lace front wig. It comes in a black box, pretty black box. No, don't touch that. You're gonna burn. It's hot. That's my little boy. Sorry, it's hot. Hot. Yes, hot. Um, this is a lace. I hope you can see that. It's just called R and B collection, and the colors are F. 427 and style is topaz. I don't know if you can keyword it if you guys like it. Maybe you can find it somewhere. But I bought it at a beauty. She gave it to me uh, in re trying to make up for selling me this. Which she should have gave me a lace front human, not a lace front synthetic. That would have been more appropriate. But I'm not gonna complain. It's my mistake. I didn't do. I didn't look at the wig good enough before I purchased it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on. And I would love to get some feedback from you guys. Um, what it, it's got lace up here. The lace is really coarse. Um, it has one comb on this side, one comb on that side, and a comb in the back, which always seems to grab onto the back of the hair. I didn't. I have worn this wig already because it's all I have right now. And me and little man is on our way out the door, finna go. Do a little more shopping and mama's coming home with a new wig today. May not be a human, but I'm coming home with something. But I'm going to go ahead and try it on. I don't like it that much. But you guys tell me what you think. 
I love getting feedback from my other divas out there. Because y'all got it going on, baby. And, um, shout out to April's My Muffin. I came up here and I guess my husband was looking at what I be looking at on YouTube and um, ended up uh, watching one of your videos. <laughs> well, I saw him when he walked away from the computer. One of your videos was playing. And it was the one with the lace wig, and I was like, with the um, Apex Harris wig, and I was like, baby, they on sale for one ninety nine, and they on, gonna be on sale to the fifteenth. That could be my Christmas present. Please get it for me. So that's kind of where I'm at right now. This is the only thing I have in here. I need my wig brush, but um, don't touch that hot. Did it burn? <laughs> He's so rough, these little boys. But, this is it, y'all. And this is what she gave me to replace giving me a not full length wig. But I'm not gonna, I wouldn't dare glue this down. And I'm gonna tell you something else I noticed about these uh, synthetic lace front wigs. I, um... My Inspire wig by Madel Madel that I or Model Model, whichever one you choose to use, um, I didn't. I glued it down, and um, when I went back to try to put it on without gluing it down, the lace had stretched and it just didn't fit right. So it's not gonna fit right. It didn't fit right unless I would glue it down, and so I'm about to retire it. So I need to stock up on some more options on my wigs. I did have a, a few of them going which were only synthetic but or maybe I should just save my money and get invest in the one that I did um, that I really want and that's the human full lace. Oh, just, I just want a good human full lace wig and that $1.99 is a little bit more in my budget. I can probably pay a hundred and you know my husband paid the other hundred for me because you know we ain't no ballers <laughs> we got bills so I have to just kind of roll with the punches especially since I'm not working right now but that's okay all that's gonna change and um I just would like to get some feedback from you all tell me what you think about my wig um this is the front I have no way of, uh, you know, editing my software, so I, I my deep, my movies, so, you know, I just have to do it the best I can and put them up here. Um, but, take a look at the back. You guys, tell me what you think. Like I said, it's a number 427, and just tell me what you think. Um, and it doesn't have a name like most of them. Oh, yes, it do. It's a Topaz wig. And number F427. Um, I would love to get some feedback from you all. Let me know what you think of it. Maybe I could pull it to the side and put a little. I don't know. I'm just going to leave it like this for right now because me and my baby is about to get out and get some air. We'd be cooped up in this house too much. So, thank you all so much for watching. Um, Thank you all for subscribing um, and adding me as a friend and welcoming me to YouTube. It's, it's really nice to have my YouTube friends out there. In April, if you get to see this video, I'm doing what that girl said you were doing. Uh, I'm talking to a camera. I, you know, but I'm talking to my YouTube family. So, that didn't make sense what she said. Oh, she's just talking to a camera. She's just sitting at home talking to a camera. We all are doing that. We're recording videos. That's what you do when you record a video. You're talking to a camera. So don't let that switch you, girlfriend. Please don't let that switch you. Anyway, I'm running my mouth a lot today, huh? But you guys, let me know what you think of my R&B collection wig. I think I have to scrunch it. It's big hair. Scrunch it up a little bit and let me know what you think. Thank you all so much for tuning in and you guys have a good Monday.
Bye-bye.